X was unable to give it to us, as many people have pointed out already. <laughs> Sad reacts only. Yes. Sad reacts only. So then this is uh, PK Blitz versus Aw, uh, correct? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I get a uh, on stream? Can I get a uh, one mine card in neutral, please? So I'm actually kind of interested in this matchup, not only because Steve is new and because there's a lot of matchup knowledge to be had, but because Ness has always struck out to me as like very close range, really great hitboxes with one or two things to. Uh, keep you guessing when you're farther away from him. And Steve wants to stay away until he gets his resources and then gets in close. So I'm wondering when it comes down to like the best of both characters, who would be in a more comfortable situation with box and space. But you might find out. Well, that goes through. It's good to know. Drop a uh, workbench forward smash. That is the tech. So he's got diamond on deck, he's got the gold for uh, the boosted minecarts, which will probably kill at this point. Sure. Oh, ooh, maybe not. Nice. The throw pressure? Oh, that's... That's a really good setup. Getting your opponent to uh, jump to avoid the minecart, the uh, moving command grab slash banjo side B right into your I'm in pickaxe forward smash. Jesus. Why is his stock almost over again? Why is he almost dead? Jeez, man. That animal. I. I still have no idea what this character does. It was like the obvious uh, go to there, but the fact that he got a punish on it was really good. I think it looks be doing differently right now because it seems like he's just having like a tough time getting anywhere near it. Uh, the minecart is just really strong overall, like just as a tool. Mm -hmm. Not just that, but the minecart is a really good mix up for what would otherwise I think be the correct solution for Steve, which is get close enough to where he can't mine without you coming in on reaction and punishing him. Because that minecart itself is difficult to react to and Steve will jump up minecart, so then you have to come in and do an action to try to catch him or to try to interrupt him. And that's how you run into stuff like uh, walk back forward smash, or that's how you walk into a forward tilt or something. And it's so tilting! It's so tilting to see a Steve mine and walk away from you. Like, he doesn't even want to play, play the game with you. It's just like, yeah, you can play neutral over there, have fun. Does anyone know if uh, Steve's different weapons have different knockback? And if so, which I would assume it does. Does diamond have more knock? Does uh, not that gold have more knockback than iron? Uh, that's a good question. All I know is that uh, gold apparently has slightly less recovery on its moves to make it faster, and mm -hmm. diamond is the hardest hitting. Though I don't know if that's just percent or if it's knockback or if it's though. just percent. Jesus, that's oh, oh, oh. terrible. He's not dead. Wow, he's not dead. Yeah, he did some more blocks. This is like really bad for PK Blitz though. This is like one random ass minecart, one random ass back air. Uh, yeah, and he has diamond. I don't know how I feel about, the feel about the <laughs> Jesus, that clipped him? What do you yeah, mean? The, his space got cut up. <laughs> oh, uh, victory, rip Steve Schmeet. Yeah. Rip the victory Schmeet, man. Worst patch oh. ever. Second worst <laughs> was when they put Steve in. <laughs> No, don't say that. Look, a year from now, there's going to be uh, somebody who <laughs> wins Evo with Steve, and it's going to be the biggest meme ever. If we had the ability to send information back in time, no one would believe you. 
I don't think I, I don't think I lied at any point in my statement saying that the worst patch was Victory Schmidt removal and second worst was because that is the game. I don't, I don't care, man. Yeah, he's definitely tricky. Like he's because there's a lot of characters in this game that sort of have you play their own game, but. Steve is like another level of that. Like, look at that offstage stuff where you're just like, yeah, you know, I think I'll chill out over here. You know, I think I that's can really make stage. I think that's really bad for him to be able to do that. As in uh, a balance standpoint, as in like just a balance and interest standpoint. That. Mm, I feel you. It's definitely. I agree with you in the sense that it can be a little bit of a, like, uh, turtle factor. But I also think there's a lot of interesting things that can come with it. I think we'll need time for that stuff to develop. But hopefully, I, I would like to think that the cool stuff would outweigh the lame. But I think we'll see a lot of the, like, cheesy stuff for a long time, just because of the nature of complex characters. I don't know. I feel like his skill roof can be unbelievably high. I just don't really, like... I don't like the skill floor, at least what I'm seeing so far. Then, you know, I haven't actually paid that much that's attention fair. as a character. Oh, that's totally understandable. I do think the fact that he can spawn platforms for him to reset his double jump though, is really stupid. Because he can literally pretty cannot pretty do that in his game. If he can't do it in his freaking game, why is he able to do it? <laughs> hey, come on, it guys. Is, it's pretty crazy. Yo, and the combos off of that are pretty nutty, too. Even if they are, uh, even if you can DI out of a lot of them. Nice, the chase. Ooh, that was directly in the face. We get a Minecraft Steve Oof. Yo, I kind of wish they added his, like, bone-breaking noises from when he falls from big distances. That would be fun. Jesus. Just, like, crack Steve with a Ganon forward smash online, and it sounds like you've shattered his pelvis. That actually is in the game. Funny, if he falls from a super high distance, he'll make the little crunch sound at, yeah. upon landing. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, you didn't know that. Okay. I think if no, he does, like, I, I think if he does, uh, if he jumps at the peak of his first hop, then he can, mm -hmm. he'll make the sound upon landing. Mm-hmm. Awesome. He falls from any distance and you take damage, which is actually not that. It's, it's pretty, it's not that high, honestly, where he starts taking fall damage. Not of the TNT. I will say I have not seen as much TNT as I have minecart, so I'd like to think that speaks well for its, uh, you actually need to know the setups or know what you're going for with that one relative to minecart, which is like, haha, funny neutral tool, but... Uh, minecart, we is have seen some cool tool? stuff. I mean, it's is, kind of whatever you want. Does that count as a neutral tool? I mean, if you're Does a that neutral... count as a neutral tool? He died at 70. <laughs> Look, all it is, is it's a recovery, fast moving, hard to react to, combo tool, kill move, command grab that tick throws into itself. It's whatever you want it to be. It is imagination. I kinda hate minecart. <laughs> We'll call him Minecart Steve from now on instead of Minecraft. Minecart Steve is a, is a menace to society. <laughs> Minecart Steve getting pulled over for speeding. Liking what uh, PK Blitz is trying to do in the neutral though. He's really doing his best to put pressure on here, but uh, it's very tricky to get in. You look at oh that! How many? Look at us! How many hits did he take? So how many hits did he just take? Oh, I mean, it's hard to tell with the, um, with the tech, or the missed tech effects anyway, but... How dead is Oh, he had the read! <laughs> yeah, if he was a little the bit classic. higher, that would have been the stock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, the, the, the missed opportunities under the breath, like, damn it, PK Blitz. Wanting to have hit him a little bit higher. So I'm pretty sure the TNT is absorbable. By Ness, just because it is Ness can absorb uh, explosion damage, and it'd be very strange if uh, TNT wasn't an explosion. Uh, yes, I think that checks out. Although there's a lot very, of very like, strange. there's weird codings for explosions in this game. Yeah, well, see, just did it. Easy, easy, easy call. Nice chase. <gasps> Yo, what? I was. <sighs> Oh, using Anvil to mix up your fall trajectory into 
Goku Diamond Pickaxe Forward Smash. That's crazy. It's a nice house he built, though. That, that that's like one of the best win animations in the entire game. Look at this. So how much did Nessio? Yeah, where are you going? <laughs> can we can we see that? Can we see that again? When how much did Nessio? Okay, is thirty his max that so you can heal off one thing? Oh, I guess it must be. So nasty. Down air immediately jump forward, or I don't know if he walked off or if he jumped forward there. I don't know that you can walk off, but that was pretty slick. Yeah, I want to watch uh, PK Blitz die at seventy again. <laughs> yeah, right here, right yeah, here. Yeah. You guys, you guys say this character's interesting. You guys say this character's fucking in. <laughs> Let me drop my down air. My he died at seventy. I don't care what resources he has. You can just my... keep mining for it. You just do it whenever he wants. <laughs> that's seventy, can... dude. Can't he <laughs> mine off of his anvil too, or something? I don't know. Can he? I know he can do it off the CNT, but I think they patched that out. They. That would make sense. It would be kind of really silly if he could, like, 